Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video, I want to go over a little bit more advanced example of recursion. So far, all of the examples that we've gone through, each function call has spawned one more function call and so on and so forth until a base case was reached. But that doesn't have to be the case. One function call could spawn two more function calls or three more function calls or n more function calls, okay? So really what you would have is multiple recursive calls per single function call. So let me show you an example of this and I think you'll see it looks kind of scary, but if you just take it step by step and draw a diagram, it's not so bad. All right, so I've got two new function calls here, one to fun passing in five on line 51 and then one to more fun passing in five on line 53. Let me show you these fun in kind of double quotes here, finger quotes, uh, functions. All right, so here's fun and more fun. So you can see that each one of these accepts an integer argument called n. And so let's start with fun. So fun checks to see if n is greater than two. If it is, then there are three recursive calls to fun. Okay, so every call to fun with a value of n greater than two is gonna spawn three more calls to fun. If n is ever not greater than two, say it's less than or equal to two, or we have finished all three of these calls, then we will print out the value of n. So we'll only print out n if n is less than or equal to two, or if the three function calls fun n minus one, fun n minus two, and fun n minus three have returned. The only difference from more fun to fun is where we do that printing out of n. So more fun is going to print out n before any recursive calls or before the check for a base case, whereas fun is gonna do it after the recursive calls or after we find out that this Boolean condition here is in fact false, meaning we've reached a base case and we're gonna stop recursing. All right, so we're gonna trace through fun and then more fun, and I hope you find it's not so bad. So here's how we're going to do this. We are going to draw something called a call tree, okay? So the call tree is going to keep track of all of the calls as branches off of a call or a node. So let me show you just an example of a tree. So this is a tree. So this first node up here, this one red one right here, this is called the root of the tree. So for us, this is gonna be our originating call, the one from main where we're passing in fun five, okay? And then off of this kind of root node, that's what we call the top of our tree, the root, then each one of these links or these branches out of the node is gonna represent another call. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just write the number for n in each one of these calls, just so that you can see what that stack frame looks like. What does it look like when, say, the originating call is executing, okay, n is five, what about the first recursive call? Okay, n is four, et cetera. All right, so that's just kind of a high level overview of how I'm going to represent a, a sequence of recursive calls from fun that are originated by five with this call tree where every single node is a circle, it represents a call on the function and the value of n, and then lines coming out of that node are gonna represent subsequent calls. All right, so let's trace this from beginning to end very carefully. I'll explain everything I'm writing as I'm writing it. Okay. All right, so we're gonna call fun passing in five. All right, so the root of my tree is going to be a call with value of n equal to five, okay? As we traverse over here on the right, I'm going to have our fun five output where I will write anything that's being C outed or printed to console. All right, so here we go. So we call fun, we pass in five. We test, is n greater than two? Is five greater than two? It is. So we are going to enter the body of this if statement and I'll call this fun call 
one. I'll call this one fun call two, and I'll call this one fun call three. So we're going to execute fun call one. So we're gonna call fun again, passing it n minus one, four minus, uh, five minus one is four. So I'm gonna call four. Okay, so now fun's executing again, this time n is four. We test, is four greater than two? It is, so we enter the body of the if statement and we execute call number one to fun. So n minus one, four minus one is three. So now we're executing fun again, this time n is three. Is n greater than two, three greater than two? It is, we enter the body and we do call number one to fun again, passing in n minus one, two, uh, three minus one is two. Okay, so now we're executing fun again, this time n is two, is two greater than two? No, it is not, so we're going to uh, not execute the body of this if statement. Thankfully, I was running out of room. Uh, and now we're going to see out n, finally. So we have output over here of two. We're gonna print out two. All right, so now we're going to pop two off the call stack, right? There's nothing else in fun to do. So I'm just gonna use a different color to denote we're now going back up the tree, right? Because we're popping off the call stack. So we just finished uh, the stack frame where n is three, it's first call to fun. So now we're right here about to do its second call to fun. Okay, so n minus two, three minus two is one. Okay, so I've got an execution of fun again where n is one. I test, is n greater than two, one greater than two? No, it is not. So I'm not gonna enter the body of the if statement and I'm gonna jump down here and print out n. So I'm going to see out one. Okay, different color here. We're now done with this call to fun. So we're going to pop it off of the call stack and head back up to the stack frame with n of three. Okay, so we just got back from the second call to fun. Now we're about to do our third call to fun right here. So we're going to call fun again, passing an n minus three. Three minus three is zero. Okay, so here's another call to fun with n equal to zero. We test n greater than two, zero greater than two. No, it is not. So we come down to our Cout statement and we print out zero. Okay, now we're gonna pop this stack frame with zero for n off of the call stack. And so we're back up here at three. We just returned from the third call to fun. So now we print out three and we are done with the stack frame where n is three. So now we're going to pop three off the call stack. And I'm gonna have to start reusing some colors here. So let's do blue. Okay, so we're gonna pop off the call stack head up to stack frame with value of four. Okay, so we just got back from this first call to fun here, and now we're ready to do the second call here. So fun, n minus two, four minus two is two. So we're gonna call fun again, passing in two. Okay, we're going to test if uh, n greater than two, two greater than two, no, it is not. So we're going to print out two is nice we're not recursing any further down this branch of our call tree so now we're going to pop two off of the stack head back up to four okay so now we just got back from our second call now we're going to do our third call right here so n minus three four minus three is one okay so now we're calling fun again n is one n greater than two one greater than two no it is not so we're going to come down here to this cout statement and we're going to print out n, which is one. Okay, we're now done with this call, so we're gonna pop it off the call stack, head back up to four. We just got back from its third call right here, which means we're now going to print out four, and then we're gonna pop four off of the call stack, and we're back up here at five. So that was all just the originating call where n is five, its first recursive call here, its first one. All right, so now we're moving on to its second one right here. All right, so n minus two, five minus two is three. I'm gonna kinda make some room over here. Is three, okay, so now we're calling fun with three, three greater than two, yes it is. So we're gonna call fun with n minus one, 
3 minus 1 is 2. Okay, so now I'm here at 2. Is 2 greater than 2? No, it's not. So now I'm going to print out 2. No more recursing, so I'm going to pop 2 off of the call stack and head back up to 3. So I just returned from here. Okay, now I'm at this line. Uh, where I'm doing my second call to fun. Okay, we're right here. N is three, so three minus two is one. So I'm gonna call fun again with one. Okay, so we are now inside of fun again. Okay, so we're gonna test is N greater than two, N is one, one greater than two is false. So we're gonna print out one. Okay. Then we're going to pop that off the call stack. We're back at three. We just returned from this call. Now we're gonna do this call right here. So three minus three is zero. Okay, so now we're gonna call fun with zero. Zero greater than two is false. So we're gonna print out n, which is zero. Then we're going to return back to three. We just came back from its third call. You can see that from the three branches. So now we print out three. Okay, so now we need to uh, pop three off the call stack. We just printed it. Let's use a different color here. So now we're back up at five. We just finished five's second recursive call. So now we need to do its last recursive call, passing in five minus three, uh, which is two. So now Got to draw one more node over here. We come into fun, n is two, we test, is n greater than two, two greater than two? No, it is not. So we come down here and we print out n. So we print out two. Okay, then we're gonna pop it off the call stack. We're back up at five. So we just returned from five's last recursive call. So now we're going to print out five. Okay, now we're done with five. So five is going to be popped off of the call stack and we are back to main, so we're done. All right, so let's double check our output here. Okay, let's see if it matches. So I'm gonna head over to the code and I'm gonna compile this. And I'm going to run it, and I can just copy this and paste it right into our notepad and we can compare it. Make sure that we traced it correctly. All right, let's see. So we have 2, 1, 0, 3, 2, 1, 4, 2, 1, 0, 3, 2, 5. It looks like we traced it correctly. All right, so that was a lot, but if you take it step by step and you draw the diagram and you trace it, it's not so bad. Let's do it again, but this time with more fun. The only difference between fun and more fun is when are we printing out the value of n. With more fun, we're going to print it out before we test our if statement, which means before we recurse. So with fun, we were printing it out after we tested our if statement, which possibly included recursing three times. So this is kind of a traversal kind of on the way up uh, as we pop off the call stack. This is gonna be kind of a traversal on the way down as we push onto the call stack. These are often known in uh, tree and graph theory as a post-order traversal, this fun right here, and then a pre-order traversal, this more fun right here. So stay tuned for future classes where you'll learn about tree and graph data structures. All right, let's trace more fun. So I'm gonna put the output of more fun passing in the value of five right over here next to our fun with passing in the value of five output. I'll do this all in purple so it's really clear that it's different. I'm just gonna label these calls one, two, and three again. Even though the calls are the same, right? They're passing the same values of n, just we're using more fun instead of fun because more fun is gonna print out as it goes, whereas fun is going to print out after it has done all of its recursive steps. All right, so we start with more fun passing in five. So we enter the body of more fun, we immediately print out five, okay? Then we have the first recursive call, which is this yellow one right here. We immediately print out four. Then we have this recursive call right here. We immediately print out three. 
Then we have this recursive call right here. We immediately print out two, okay? Two is not greater than two, so there's no more recursion. We pop two off the call stack. Now we're at three returning from its first call to more fun. Now we're gonna do its second call. So passing in one, so this call right here, we immediately print out one, okay? No more recursive steps here. We pop one off the call stack. We're back at three, so we just finished this call. Now we're about to do call number three. Passing in three minus three is zero. So this call right here, we immediately print out zero. Now we're done with threes, three recursive calls to more funds. We pop three off the call stack. We're back in the stack frame with N of four. So we just finished this call right here where N is four. Now we're gonna do this one right here. Four minus two is two. So we do this call right here. We immediately print out two. Okay, we pop two off the call stack. Okay, we do four's third call, which is this one right here. We print out one. We pop one off the call stack. Okay, we just return from four's third call to more fun. So we're gonna pop four off the call stack. We are done with it. We're back up at five. We just finished five's first call to more fun where we passed in n minus one, which was four. So now we're ready to move on to its second call to more fun here, passing in n minus two, five minus two is three. So this one right here, we immediately print out three. Okay, three, we recurse, call more fun, passing in two for n. We immediately print out two. Okay, then we pop two off the call stack. We're back at three. Now we're gonna do three second call to more fun. So we're doing this one right here. We're gonna print out one immediately, pop one off the call stack. Now we're gonna do three's last call to more fun, passing in three minus three is zero. So this one right here, we immediately print out zero. We pop zero off the call stack. We're done with three because we just returned from this call right here. We pop three off the call stack. We are now back up at five and we just came back from its second call to more fun. So now we have its last call to more fun right here. Passing in five minus three is two. So we're right here. We print out two immediately. We don't recurse with two. We pop two off the call stack. We're back at five. We pop five off of the call stack and we head back to main. All right, so let's check our output and see if it is correct. Let's see if it matches how the code actually runs. So I'm gonna once again, just copy this and I will just paste it right next to our output so that we can easily compare. All right, so we have uh, five, four, three, two, one, zero, and then two, one, three, and then two, one, zero, two. So it looks like it matches. So that was nice how we were able to use the same tree, right? We were just changing when we were printing out the value of n for that point in the tree, right? And remember, each node represents one call to fun or to more fun. All right, I know, like I said at the beginning, that it looks kind of crazy and it it is in some ways, but just make sure that you have that you know paper and pencil out and you're able to trace through all of the calls by drawing a diagram like we did here. The last thing that I wanna mention related to this recursive example is what is its time complexity? So all the other examples that we've worked with so far have been big O of n, right? Because they've been some function of n, like for example, traversing a string and printing it out character by character. If there are n characters in the string, then its time complexity is gonna be big O of n. Or let's say traversing a linked list, either forward or reverse, right? There's n nodes in the list, we've gotta visit each of those n nodes. So the time complexity is big O of n. Well, what about fun and more fun? What's their time complexity? Well, if you look at our tree here, we can get some kind of indication that it's definitely not linear, right? If it was linear, we would have something that looks like this, right? But we don't have something that looks like this. We have multiple branches coming out of many of our nodes. So worst case scenario, right, each call to fun results in three more calls to fun. 
So repetitive multiplication by three is represented by the mathematical function three to the n. So this actually has time complexity big O of three to the n, which is very, very, very inefficient. Those are the kind of exponential curves that we don't want our algorithms to have. So fun and more fun are really great for demonstration purposes, but you wouldn't want to use something like them in practice because as n gets large, so does the number of calls, which means so does the amount of memory required on the stack to store all the local variables and information about the functions and their frames. Oh my goodness, it, it just gets to be a huge memory sink very fast. And whenever you start to eat up a lot of stack memory, you can actually cause a stack overflow, which can crash your program. All right, so that's where I wanna leave this off is that this is a very, very, very inefficient algorithm. But it's a great example of how to trace through recursion when it gets a little more advanced beyond one recursive call per function call. Now we have three recursive calls per function call. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.